Hello everyone, this is Chris from Chris Trains with tutorial number five for the ICNG. And this tutorial talks a little bit about some of the information you need to know before you start driving with either of the train protection systems, which is either ATB, Automatische Train Beinfluding, which is the automatic train protection system, or ETCS, which is the European Train Control System. The ICNG supports both of these systems, but they can also be influenced from outside the train. So I have scenery objects available on chrystrains.com that allow you to influence the safety system of the train from the outside, and you'll find these built into some of the Dutch routes, which is why you need to know about this before you start driving. These are um, ATB um, magnets. So these are the beacon systems that are used to force the ATB system on and off in the train. I'm not going to go into detail about how you place these or the different versions, but you can find all of that on chrystrains.com in the online manual for the scenery objects. And the same is true up here. You'll see these, which are ETCS Belize's, and these are communication systems that talk to the train and tell it or give it information about different ETCS modes. So let me just jump back into the cab and explain a little bit about how these work. So first of all we need to talk about the driver's key. You can see at the moment that the driver's key is in ATB plus ETCS mode. This means that the train can operate in either mode. If the key is in the ATB mode, it means it will only ever operate in ATB mode. This means that if you drive over a trackside object that tells it to switch to ETCS, the key will limit it to only use ATB in this mode. Now the driver's key, when you start the train, will always be in ATB plus ETCS, and the safety system will always be set to IS mode. IS means isolate. In the ICNG, if you're driving in isolation mode like this, the train will not respond to these objects that are in the track. So if you're a casual player and you don't want to worry about the different train protection and safety systems, this is the mode that you should drive in here, this isolation mode. If you want to drive in ATB mode, or with ETCS enabled, you can do that by making sure that the reverser is in neutral, that the combination handle is in zero, and then you touch this icon here that says IS, and you pick IS if you want isolated, ATB if you want to drive with ATB, and obviously ETCS if you want to drive with ETCS. And when you click on that, the train now runs with ATB protection turned on. If you drive with ATB or ETCS turned on, the train will always respond to these magnets and beacons that sit inside the track. So again, if you want to drive without worrying about protection systems, Click on this icon and make sure that you're in isolation mode. If you don't want to drive with a train protection system, you can leave the video now because the rest of this is just going to talk to the people that do want to drive with one of the two protection systems enabled. Okay, so let's assume that you want to drive with um, the availability of ETCS and or ATB. Let me start off in ATB mode, and we will start to drive. Turn the cab light off. So we're already in ATB mode, so when we run over this trackside object here, it's not going to change because we're, we're already running in ATB. So you'll see that we ran over that, um, that ATB magnet and nothing happened. Just go outside the train and show you. Underneath here, 
we've already passed that magnet and nothing happened in the train. So the next one we're going to pass is this one here, and this is an ETCS Belize, and this is going to force the train into ETCS mode. So you can see it out of the cab window here, that's what we're going to run over. I'll do this slowly because a lot of stuff is going to happen in a very short space of time. The things to watch for when I run over this magnet are this area of the display, you'll get a message that tells you that you've that, uh, a system outside the train has tried to change the protection system. And you'll also see an icon that appears here which tells you that you need to accept the new system that's being chosen by this device outside the train. So let's just go ahead and run over that magnet, or that Belize, and watch what happens. You'll get the message down here first, and then you'll get the icon here. So there's the message, and then you must tap this icon within five seconds to change the mode. I'll just stop the train there and say that again. Once you get the message that says the safety protection system has been changed by an external device, you have to tap the icon that appears here within five seconds. If you don't, the train will apply an emergency brake. So let's just do the same again, but this time we're going to run over this Belize here. And this one is set to change us back to ATB mode. But this time I'll run over it and not accept the mode change. So if we just start moving, here's the Belize that we're going to run over. We'll get the message here that says trackside object, and I will not in this case, if I don't click this, we get an emergency brake. And you get a message up here that tells you emergency brake, driver did not acknowledge ETCS or ATB changeover. Obviously now we're in an emergency brake situation. Before we can drive any further, we need to reset it. Um, I'll just do it quickly here, but this was also covered in tutorial number one. So make sure we're in neutral. Pull that all the way back. Reset the brake. Reconnect the high voltage system. And now we can drive again. So the last thing I want to talk about here is swapping the systems over um, using the driver's key. So once the train has come to a complete stop, if you put it in neutral, parking brake on, pantograph down, high voltage disconnected, you've basically said, I, I now want to turn the train off or change the safety system mode. Let me just turn the cab light on so you can see this a bit better. If I move that into the zero position, everything's turned off, and I can now swap it to ATB or ATB plus ETCS. Again, this, this is what chooses which safety systems are available to you. If the key has ever been in this zero position, you now need to do a start of mission before you use the safety system again. So let me just put that in one of these modes. And if we look over here, you'll now see that this screen looks a little bit different. There's a symbol here that says the safety systems are off. And here you have the option to click start. So this is a really simplified version of the start of mission in the real trains. So click start. You get this little icon that flashes here. When you click on that, it initializes the system into ATB mode and you're now ready to go. This light here shows you that ETCS is turned off. If I go back into isolate mode, you now also get a light here that shows that ATB is turned off. I hope this makes sense. I would recommend looking at this video, video a couple of times before you start driving, just to make sure you understand how the safety systems can be influenced by trackside objects. And again, if you want to know more about the trackside objects, 
you can go to chrystrains.com. I'll just show you how to get there. Go down here to the free scenery objects, Chris Trains. And then here you can see all of my station objects and the online manual here has all the information, including ETCS Belize's and how they work and the ATB beacons and how they work. Okay, so that concludes tutorial number five for the ACNG, ICNG, sorry.